Hello, and welcome to another Cure for Conflict. Today, we'll be talking about the terrorist attack that took place in the heart of Barcelona, Spain. On Thursday, August 17th in Las Ramblas, a van rammed through a crowd of people, killing 13 and injuring 50. The white Fiat sped by the pedestrian area, and the driver later fled on foot. Police have released a photo of the man named Driss Obekir, who was claimed to have rented the van. Driss Obekir is in his 20s and was born in Morocco. Since Las Ramblas is one of Europe's top tourist attractions, a lot of tourists were killed in the attack. Witnesses claim that the driver was targeting the people he attacked, and many people are calling this an act of terrorism. Hello, I'm Malik Henry, this is Natalie, and welcome to The Cure for Conflict. So what do you think about what happened? Well, it's, uh, I guess it's always disillusioning to see, to hear about a terrorist attack, yeah. but we've also been having so many of them yeah. that it just feels like... Like um, you get desensitized after a while too, because yeah. like the one just happened, I mean it wasn't, I guess technically a terrorist attack in the same vein, but like the car rammed over people just recently in Virginia, and now we have this. It kind of reminds me of, I know there was one in the UK, that was a while ago. Like I think. a couple of years, I think. I don't think it was a couple, I thought it was a couple of months ago. I thought it was like was earlier it a couple? this year. Because I know there was one that happened during Bastille Day in I, yeah. France. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess you said UK, so that's different. But, um, but, but yeah, I think, um, I mean, every time we hear about one, it's like, it brings you down like a little Another bit more. Another nice reminder like, of the happening. world we live in. Yeah, but it also, it just starts to, kind of mold together with yeah. like all the other ones we've been hearing about, especially because they're happening um, at such a high frequency in such a small period of time. So like it um, gets harder to comprehend each one because yeah. there are just so many. Some of them just, it's sad to say, but some of them just kind of get lost in what yeah. everything that's happening. And, and like you said before, like you, you start to get desensitized to it yeah. because like this really is the world that we're starting to live in. And like kids are growing up and this is what they're seeing. This is what they're getting used to yeah. seeing. Like, Back when we were little, like we heard about 9/11 happening, and that was like the big one, right? Yeah. And we were like, everyone was kind of like struck a little bit, and a lot of things changed after that. We haven't seen that much change. Um, and even in then, for 9/11, I guess I would, it's not. It wasn't in my early childhood, at least, because I would have been around seven or eight at the time. Mm. So even then, I wasn't like five years old, super young. I mean, I, I remember I was like three. Like that was my first day of preschool, and and. I, I didn't even remember it, but I remember my mom told me and how scared she was about it. But yeah, it's, I don't know. I, I think it's it's because of at the frequency and at the rate that they've yeah. been happening at that we've been kind of On losing edge. count about it, which is it's not a good thing. Like we no. shouldn't be losing count, but we are. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's nothing really more. I, I don't know if it's considered a terrorist attack as of now, um, but I think it's a, with every attack that happens and everyone that everything that we witness it's good to keep in mind that like whenever something like this happens it's like it's always a terrorist attack it's not yeah. just a terrorist attack when it's um a specific group or a specific no. person of of a specific demographic like it's whenever it's causing terror which is literally why it's a terrorist attack like whenever it's um harming other people in large masses, like that's a terrorist attack. And do we know what, like, what this terrorist was linked to? Like if he was part of some group or organization or was he just doing this on his own? I'm not sure, Did they? do you know if they found out about that? Because I know it was still really recent, so there's yeah, still a lot of stuff coming out on it. Because we mentioned, we talked about this maybe like the day of or mm -hmm. the day after, so I don't know if there was like a motive that was found or anything. Mm -hmm. Like whether it was religious or he just had a grudge on something. I mean, it could be, I feel like it's so many things and it's probably not just one thing. But, Probably um, not. But yeah, I feel like most people have been tying it to religion, especially because like the first thing they think of is like ISIS or like the Taliban or something like that. But like, either way, it doesn't go justify that. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we don't. It doesn't justify it, but um, we can't assume that like every terrorist attack, like automatically people think of those like big names, and it's like it can come from anywhere. Yeah, and then and automatically it can come from people place. like the people involved associate with ISIS, even though ISIS might have nothing to do with it. So, mm. yeah. It's just hard to tell. No, and, and yeah, it definitely gets hard to tell, especially with with how many there have been. Yeah. I think that's like all I have to talk about. All right. With this. Let's uh, let's hope something happens to. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's 
probably more about the awareness of it. It's about yeah, because there's not much we can do ourselves, but like just know about it. No, learn about it. Uh, uh, you know, read articles, do your research before you talk to other people. Just be informed. Yeah, yeah, be educated. Knowledge is power. Oh, it's not up there anymore. Knowledge is power. <laughs> <laughs> but knowledge is power because that's how you have discussions and that's how you get people to not be ignorant about things. That's how you get things. people to listen to you on topics. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No fake news over here. <laughs> All right, this, this has been another Tear for Conflict. <laughs> I've been Malik. This has been Natalie signing off. <laughs>